Hello, my name is Kiriath, and today we are going to talk about some rumoury, leaky stuff what has been sent to me regarding the new Space Marine supplements, Black Templars, and Orcs, weirdly. So, this information is coming from someone who, ac well, accurately sent me information regarding Blackstone Fortress in the past, from the type of game it was to how much it was going to cost, including sprues as well, which unfortunately I didn't get a chance to act on until after we'd already seen that stuff from a different source, but this person was dead on the money with what they sent me, even if I wasn't able to share that. I can't remember why, but I wasn't able to make a video on it for whatever reason. They've had a pretty good track record in the stuff that they've sent me in the past, so I'm, I'm leaning towards like slightly less salt than I would do normally. Of course, you need to take your, you know, you need to season to taste with all rumours slash leaks, I don't think it's ever particularly wise to just go, yes, that is 100%, unless it's something fantastically vague. If there's something fantastically vague, like, we're going to get more Primaris characters, then yes, you can absolutely believe that 100%, because you'd be kind of dumb not to. But for distinctly specific stuff, always leave a little bit of doubt just in case. So, with all that being said, what have they actually told me? First up is a rough, very rough kind of release schedule for these Space Marine supplements. So... The Space Marine supplements will be about every two months-ish will be the release date for those. So nothing like concrete, but about every couple of months. And next up will be Iron Hands and Raven Guard, is what they're suggesting as being the next two supplements that will be released. I can believe the Iron Hands one no problem at all, because I was honestly surprised that the Iron Hands weren't one of the first ones. I, you know, Doing it in pairs, I would have suspected Ultramarines, because it's Ultramarines and they always go first, and Iron Hands, purely because we already have an Iron Hands character. We have a, a um, an Iron Father Primarisified. We have that model. Like, we've seen it. It's previewed. Not available yet, but I would have thought that they would have been first anyway. The fact that they weren't was genuinely quite surprising to me. So I can easily see that. Raven Guard, I've not heard that much about. Salamanders, there was a typo... On, uh, on one of the White Scars dice boxes that had their name on it. So, I mean, obviously, the different chapters, like, they're going to get, you know, the, the first chapters are going to get their own stuff in the form of supplements, but it's just a case of guessing the order. Iron Hands being next, I can totally understand that. I would have honestly thought that Salamanders might be earlier than Raven Guard, but I could be totally wrong. I mean, all I'm basing that on is a, a picture that I saw earlier today, in fact, of a White Scars... Um, dice box that had the wrong name on it. So then again, we know that these things are prepared years in advance, and therefore that could actually mean absolutely nothing. They could have the stocks ready to go, but this codex isn't going to be out for like four months. So, but yeah, Iron Hands are totally believable. Absolutely understand that. Raven Guard is the gamble, but yeah. So essentially, everyone is going to get an upgrade sprue, which I think. We've already seen some Iron Hands upgrade sprues somewhere. I'll see if I can find a, a, a link to that because I saw some of those a while back and there was it actually showed like a proper Primaris upgrade. Like the little icons on the shoulders, there were little um, like uh, icons and stuff attached to belts and things. I'll see if I can find the pictures. If I do, I'll put them in a the link in the description. Um, so everyone will get an upgrade sprue, everyone will get a Primaris character. Again, absolutely believe that. We've already had. The upgrade for Ultramarines, we've already had Kasara Khan for the White Scars, we know that there is an Iron Father for the Iron Hands, so that all completely adds up. It'd be interesting to see who who gets upgraded for Raven Guard. I feel like it might be Shrike, but I don't know, I because he's got quite a signature way of... Then again, Kasara Khan was on a bike, and now he's Primaris, and therefore can't use a bike, so actually... I don't know, interesting. Everyone's going to get dice, again, completely understandable, and everyone is going to get a transfer sheet, which, again, totally believe. Now, onto the, onto the thing that is, is a, little, a little more, a little more like, I guess, salty in a way. There's going to be a new box, a new versus box, if you will, which is Black Templars versus Orcs. That's quite interesting by itself. I mean, anything that has Black Templars in is is interesting by default. They are, they are. I, I feel a chapter that deserves far more than they've got for quite some time. Re Black Templars are in fact one of those one of those chapters that I would have loved to see a supplement for. I don't think it's likely we'll get a supplement for them, 
but I would have really liked to see that, and I don't think that's likely to happen. I think if anything, there would be some extra stuff in the Imperial Fist supplement that would cover Black Templars to a greater degree, but their own seems a little far-fetched, even though it would be quite nice, because they are really quite different to most Space Marine chapters. Of course, the introduction of the primary stuff might change the flavour somewhat, but, you know, they have a slightly different, like, organizational format they don't really behave quite the same as a lot of the more traditional chapters black templars versus orcs absolutely makes sense as a as a box i mean to be honest you can get away with any space marine chapter versus orcs and it would make sense um black templars i'd like to see them get that extra attention it's an interesting thing it would be nice if it was true there is an addition to that though which in a way in a way, is a little bit... I don't know. I can't tell whether I would class this as something that I would ordinarily describe as being like a bit wishlisty or, or what. So part of the rumour for that is not just Black Templars versus Orcs. It is also a new Gazgul model out at the same time. Now, they've said they don't know if it's in the box or not. Uh, they have no information on that, unfortunately. But... That's where it gets a little bit complicated, because Black Templars vs. Orcs I could totally believe, and if depending on the release kind of schedule of it, if it was around the time of, say, a supplement that had extra stuff for them, or, you know, like an index or something like that, that would make sense, and Black Templars getting more stuff would always be fun. But, Gazgul is a weird one, because we keep seeing rumours of Gazgul coming back and getting a new model, and they surface every now and again, and so far all of them have been proven completely untrue. There was stuff talking about the release of a new Gazgul model well before October, as like an introductory thing for October. There was then countless rumours of a new Gazgul during October, which, again, none of that ever proved to be corroborated in any way. We haven't heard anything for a while. Now, it might seem a bit weird to suddenly introduce Gazgul out of the middle of nowhere, alongside a box against Black Templars. I mean, after all, the Orc Codex has been gone. It was quite a while ago at this point, though. Would they put out a new Gazgul so far after? I think at this point, it's difficult to know what could be true or not when it comes to that specific model, just because there's been so much stuff in the past. Um, the idea of... On the one hand, it's very tempting to say, well, they'd have done it in time for the Codex. Well, if the sculpt wasn't ready in time for the Codex, then they wouldn't have put it in there, which... They clearly didn't. Um, and obviously, the, the release of new models has almost no bearing at all on, on like, the age of codexes. You know, we had a bunch of Primaris stuff come out and no new co Space Marine codex to put it in. You know, there's, it's like, Primarius Calgar was, like, out in the middle of nowhere, stuff like that. The actual release of models now has no bearing on update time for codexes themselves. And so... That doesn't really feel like it should be a consideration anymore. It's it's a difficult one. It's a difficult one. The stuff for the supplements, I'm absolutely on board for. I can totally believe all of that. In fact, some of it, I think, is already pretty proven. I mean, we, we know that there's upgrade sets for the primary stuff. It would make sense to have a new character for every supplement. You know, boost it up and also introduce more Primaris models into the different chapters. Again, makes perfect sense to do all of that. I'm completely, completely there for all of that. Black Templars versus Orcs, I can see, I can easily see, because let's face it, Orcs versus Space Marines is somewhat of a classic format, let's be honest, um, and it would be nice to more Black Templar stuff, it's just whether they would get that extra attention. Historically, it's tempting to say no, they wouldn't, but I also would really like it to be true, which makes it a little bit more tricky. A new Gazgul is, I think, one of the more tricky things. I think... It's something that needs an update desperately, but the story, the overall story of things has veered away from Orcs pretty hard. Uh, and we've got this, like, psychic awakening stuff that's going on at the moment, or at least is on the way. That being said, would you, would you count, like, a... Oh, that's an interesting thought, actually. Given the kind of latent psychic abilities that Orcs have, and the way that they do things in a group, sort of with that kind of psychic presence that they have, a beefed-up Gazgul at the head of a brand-new, like, super-massive war or something could kind of fall under the classification of some kind of psychic awakening? Maybe? 
I mean, I'm clutching at straws here, obviously. This is just like wild speculation and random chasing of thoughts. Don't take it as gospel, but... I don't know, actually, thinking about it now. I'm not... It's, mm, it's very... Re- it's very, uh, very, very reaching, very stretching for things, but Black Templars famously not massive fans of psychic stuff. Um, <laughs> understatement of the century there. The orcs have their kind of latent psychic ability, which affects stuff around them. Enough belief in something like Gazgul could produce a larger, more meaty version of himself. Could be counted as some sort of psychic awakening. Hmm, interesting. Now I've thought about it a bit. There you go, you get to go on that rambly journey along with me. I'm still not... I, I'm not, like, convinced, but it's an interesting route. It's an interesting thought to have. It's an interesting development to consider if it could possibly be the thing that is happening. Hmm, interesting. That'd be one to keep an eye on, won't it? So there you go. Anyway, that's what I've got for 40k. Uh, I'm going to do another brief video because I've been sent... To, actually, you sent me some more stuff for Age of Sigmar, which we'll cover in something else because if you don't care about Age of Sigmar, why would you care? So, but yeah, that is the stuff I've been sent for 40k. Uh, let me know what you think of all of that in the comments down below. Uh, how much of it you believe holds water? What do you think sounds reasonable? Do you think the gap between the supplements is actually too big? Do you think that might be inaccurate? That it might be more regular than that? Or does that sound about right if we're talking about new model releases every time? And considering actually putting in other releases in between. Black Templars versus Orcs and a new Gazgul. That's the thing I think is going to be the most interesting to think about and consider. Whether you think it's got anything to do with this whole psychic event that is apparently on the way. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. In the meantime, feel free to click all the things. Patreon, video, subscribe, all that stuff. Click it if you like. Don't click if you don't want to. As always, there is an affiliate link down in the description for Element Games. If you're going to buy some 40k stuff, if you click that and purchase through that link, I get a little something for sending you that way. You still save like 15-25% on all 40k stuff and all of the tabletop stuff as well. And paints and supplies and literally everything. Um, and it's an extra, like, a non taxing step of supporting the channel for no extra cost with stuff that you'd be buying anyway. So it's an option if you would like to take it. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time. Toodaloo.